Mahjong is a great pastime. If you got friends or family who like to play card games, check it out. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. I'm going to do some random pulls just so that I can practice and it'll give you an idea of what it's like to play the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. We're going to do four random pulls. I'm going to use this wind of the round indicator. We'll do a round for east, south, west, and north. This will be the east round. And I'm just going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. It's a four player game. So if I rolled an eight, just count around the table. One, two, three, four. That would be north. North is seat four. East, the dealer, is seat one. South is seat two. West is seat three. And north is seat four. And again, it's the wind of the round. East. As an on-dealer, we get 13 tiles. The tiles are like a deck of cards. There's four suits. Bams, cracks, dots, and winds and dragons. The winds and dragons together are called honors and that makes up the fourth suit. So here we have numbered tiles one through nine. We have cracks, then we have bams and dots. So for this particular set of tiles I think I would try for all three of a kind. That's called pung, p-u-n-g, all pung. We have one, two, three, four pair. With one more tile, each of these can become a three of a kind, which would be an all pung hand. That's worth three fawn. A fawn is a scoring element, so this would be a decent scoring hand. Three fawn, using all the numbered tiles. Let's do another one. This time we'll be in south round, and let's just say we're in seat eight, that would be north. These are the dragons, red and white. There's also a green dragon, which is green. So there's the honors. We've got dots with a pair. Then we have some bams with a pair. And we have cracks, no pair. But we do have a chow, three in a sequence, two, three, four. So I think what I would probably do here is probably play all chow. Even though we have two pair, that's not enough to commit, I think, to an all pung hand, which is all three of a kind. We would have to do a lot of good drawing. I think probably I would try for chows because we do have one other chow potential at least, and we can break up this chow into two other potential chows. So we have a two, three, a four, six, a seven, eight, we have a pair. All we need to do is draw in some numbered tiles to fill in another chow. So these are some potential chows. We would have to sacrifice the honors to get to an all chow hand. That would be a one fawn hand. Chow hands, pretty low score. But any win is a good win, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's go on to the West round. I forgot to roll and see what seat we're in. I rolled a six. Six is south. Seat two. West round. So non-dealers get 13 tiles. We have two flowers, a one and a three. 
not good. We're seat two, so those aren't going to help us with score, but we can get replacement tiles. Two six. Ooh, look at these honors. We have a pair of east. It's the west round, and we're in south seat, so these won't bring us score. But if we have a significant number of a certain suit, we can f force a half flush to leverage those honors. And we actually have four cracks. So for this set of tiles, I would play a half flush, which is three fawn, and then pung the east. We could potentially pung the four, or we could do a chow here with the four six. I would discard these offsuit tiles. So I would play half flush with this random pull. Let's do the last round, north round. And this time, let's say we're in seat eight, which is north. Okay, we're in north seat. We have a flower, that's a one flower, so that's not gonna help. We have a north though, that's our seat wind. We do have a pair of east. So we can maybe pung that, oh my goodness, and we have five cracks. I would go for a half flush again. Or we could do chows. Half flush and chow. Half flush would be three fawn, all chow, uh, let's see. No, we wouldn't do all chows because we have all these honors. So the honors you have to pung, three of a kind. You can't do a chow with honors. You have to get all three of a kind with those tiles. So here we actually do have a chow, seven, eight, nine. And then we have a potential chow with a six, eight. So I would probably play a half flush here we have four discards to get to a half flush. I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like to play the game. That's just the decision-making part, but when you play with four other people, there are a lot of other situations that come up that can turn your hand on a dime, which is one reason why it's so much fun to play. Check out that lesson playlist below and learn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.